Today I'm going to talk about DIY pickups. This is probably the most common question I get asked about my instruments, so a video would probably be the best way to explain it. Now a pickup is one of these. They sit on a guitar, right there, underneath the strings. Uh, there's lots of different types of pickup of all differing quality uh, but they all work with the same bit of physics and if you understand that one piece of physics then you'll understand how pickups work. Now all pickups consist of uh, magnets and a coil of wire. So on this one you have a long strip which is a magnet and you've got some wires that come in around the back and they wrap around the magnet many hundreds of thousands of times um, and that's all a pickup is magnets and a coil you get different quality of magnets you get um, different shape of magnets you get different thickness of wire in the coil different quality and material of the wire in the coil and that's where all the differences in the make and the design come from um, there's a whole world of uh, very very specific pickups which you can get into but I'm not going to do that uh, feel free to look that up if you, that interests you um, one other thing that pickups might have is a coil going in one direction and another coil going in the different direction um, those are humbuckers and they tend to reduce the noise and the hum that comes from these elements now these are passive which means they don't need power um, they will just sit there and work and um, amplify the sounds that you make from your instrument. And they do this with a piece of physics called Faraday's Law of Electromagnetic Induction. Which is a bit of a mouthful, but um, it's one of the most used laws of physics and is uh, your almost definitely using it right now to listen to me through your speakers. Um, all it consists of is um, wire in the coil, a magnetic field and movement. And when you have those three things combined, you create an electrical current. Um, so with a guitar, let's try this one again. When you pluck this string, it vibrates up and down and left and right, but it does so many, many thousands of times a second, depending on what note you pluck. When that string vibrates like this, it interferes with a magnetic field created by the magnets in the pickup. And that magnetic field will shift slightly but in the exact same shape as the movement of the string and that magnetic field will also affect the electrons in the coil if there was just one wire um, and you plug the string with a magnet you're not going to be able to move many electrons backwards and forwards so if you have a coil with lots and lots of wires and you're moving many many more electrons backwards and forwards that is the exact definition of an alternating current if you have electrons going backwards and forwards that's alternating current so that is how you create electricity but when you play your instrument and that current which is the exact same shape as the string goes along your wire and into your amplifier and that small current is made much, much, much bigger. It's amplified. And then that gets pushed into your speaker. And your speaker is made up of a magnet. And in here, a coil of wire. And I've got another one here. Ah. So this is a much better example. So right there is a very powerful magnet. And in here, 
there is a coil of wire which makes this whole thing jump forwards and backwards. Um, let's do a little experiment. Let's see how it works in here. So, this is my speaker. I'm going to connect a 9 volt battery up to my speaker. And we'll see what happens. So, uh, do, 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 do. so. Uh, that doesn't work, can't really see it. So if I hold it up, I've got, uh, all speakers will have two little terminals. So if I connect this up, it will make it move. Because if you have movement and a magnetic field, you create a current. If you have current and a magnetic field, you'll create a movement. So it's the same bit of physics, just used slightly differently. Um, obviously, a battery is just current going in one direction. I couldn't create a sound very easily from a speaker using a battery, which is why we need the current to go backwards and forwards. So all you really need for a pickup is a magnet and a coil. Another thing that uses magnets and coils are motors, little electric motors. If I take this one apart, let's do this. So here's our motor, very common element. If I take this apart, Inside, you'll see, is it going to focus? It's not going to focus. Anyway, if I take this off, so this part is basically coils of wire, and inside the motor, we have two magnets. So with motors, when you put a current inside, this will start to move because you've got a coil of wire and a magnetic field. So that means this motor could also be used as a pickup. If I were to drill a hole in this chassis and then connect up the two pins to a jack, this is what we use to connect guitar cables to, then that would become a pickup. Um, here is a video of one working. So, another example just to show you. Um, because this motor has just a coil and magnets, we can use coils from other uh, things to become pickups. So this one here, this was the coil inside a motor, a much, much bigger motor. It was a pump motor for a uh, water fountain. And all of this is a coil and it comes through this cable and to this jack, which is exactly the same as this. So it has two pins, which just connects to the coil, and goes all the way around. Now with this one, instead of guitar strings, I put springs on it, and I use little magnets to sit on the spring. So when the spring vibrates, the magnets vibrate, and that magnetic fluctuation is what creates the current inside the coil. So I'm going to plug it in, switch cameras, and show you that in action. So, plug it in. Turn it up. So, if I stroke the spring like this, you can't really hear it through the amplifier very well. If I place a tiny magnet 
Right, here. So that magnet vibrating will create a magnetic fluctuation inside this coil, which makes all the electrons shift backwards and forwards to create the current. Again, nothing here, nothing there. If I put the magnet there. The further away the magnet, the weaker the magnetic field in relation to the coil, so the quieter it will be. So, you can use coils as pickups. Where else can you find coils? Motors are a really good um, source. You can often find broken motors on broken appliances. Um, this is a fun one I use quite a lot. This is from an electric fan. So this will sit here and the axle of the fan comes in there and the blades are here spinning around. This one's quite interesting because this is a circle. So you could make an array of strings in a circle and that would work as a pickup. And here is an example of that. One last place, well not one last place, there's loads of places you can find um, coils is inside power adapters. When you need to change um, a high voltage into a low voltage, you will need something called a transformer. So inside here there would be not one this big, this is a really big one, um, a transformer which has two different coils of different thickness and uh, number of rotations of coil and they will transfer transform the voltage from a high voltage to a lower voltage so these are coils of wire and they could be used as pickups as well um, other places would be in relays um, which are electromechanical ways to create isolation in circuits uh, um, where else could you find them? Well, you could just make them. It's quite easy to make them. Um, you just need a magnet and a coil of wire. So you can sit there for you could for hours and hours winding wire around a magnet and that would work perfectly fine. Um, but there's also loads and loads of DIY tips and tutorials on how to make your own proper ones using coil winders and getting the right thickness of wire and all sorts. Um, so really there's, there's a whole world of coils you can use for your things. Um, one thing I would add, never ever ever plug something into your amplifier that could potentially make a large current. So don't plug anything in and then plug it into your amp because it could damage your amp. Um, I often use these really cheap little portable 20 pound amps of Amazon. They're dirt cheap, really loud, um, and I don't have any to show you right now. Oh well. Um, yeah, that's about it, I think. I hope you learned something. I may make more of these videos if there's interest. Um, but this is really me just putting it into videos so that I don't have to keep explaining it over and over and over and over again. Which I'm happy to do, but I'd rather not. Okay. Bye.